gosh. I think I broke your father's car. No! pleasure of driving this Grand Cherokee actually starts before you even get in the car. You gotta unlock it and then you say, oh, which one's the unlock button because all the buttons are faded. So you press this button and you hear this wimpy noise. You're like, is that unlock? Oh, so that's unlocked. Okay, unlock. The next thing you're greeted to is the feel of this wonderfully made door handle. And then the beautiful squeak of the spring system here. And then the next thing you notice is usually the smell of cigarettes because that's the only kind of used Jeep Grand Cherokee you can get. This one actually doesn't smell too bad. And finally, you typically see a puddle of water on the floor here where the drainage cowls get all clogged up with leaves and it diverts the water to your feet. But then you sit down. I mean, the seats are okay, but that's where the okay ends. You gotta close your door. I mean, you could grab it from here, but a lot of people unfortunately grab it from the door handle. And that's where the problem lies. Because American cars were so obsessed with plastic, they made everything out of it. Everything. This car probably gives you cancer when it sits in the sun. And plastic, we know, gets very brittle with age. You figured, okay, maybe the problem's localized to this one. Nope. Right over here, we have the same issue. What is this handbrake? What is this? Oh my God. Here's the rear vents. The whole entire unit moves when you press it. But since this is a Jeep and it's a serious off-roader, we have this here. You can put your, um, your, um, well, you can put your phone here. See? And then you just, typical American buttons here and more fancy buttons right here. Information center. What kind of info do you get here? This is not a button. There is a trash can control button right here. And then every single other button down here is not a button. Do you really think they had that many options in the limited version of this? I don't think so. You almost always flash the person in front of you when you try and put your blinker down. All right, let's go for a drive. What do you think? Is it bad that my main concern is whether or not I'll be able to get back out? <laughs> All right, let's start this sucker up, huh? Listen to that baby purr. Now it's obviously had exhaust repair. You can see underneath here that this is inexpensive aftermarket exhaust. We're all warmed up here. And when I say we're all warmed up, I mean the car is warmed up. Physically, I'm fairly cold because the heat does not work in this car. Heats up very slightly after about half an hour. Jank. Adjust my mirrors. I'm very surprised these, these power mirrors still work. That's a lovely surprise. Let's do this. I'm always weary to put on my blinker now because it looks like I'm flashing everyone. <laughs> I drove it the other day and the suspension was making this crazy clunking noise. And I'm like, dude, that's probably a CV axle or something like that. Oh my God, this thing's so bouncy. So my seat is all the way down as close to the floor as I can get it right now. And I'm seeing like into the sun visor. All right, I'm gonna put on my blinker. Don't flash the guy, don't flash the guy. Yeah. My blinker. Yeah, I'm from Boston. Get over it, dude. See if this baby's got any juice. <laughs> it did not downshift. <laughs> oh my God, this steering is, oh, the suspension is so shot in this car. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's like a whale. Oh my God. I'm gonna turn the steering wheel and then the car just leans and <laughs> something's rattling. I'm just gonna classify that as the car, the car is rattling. 
This headliner is actually in really good condition. Got these like cross members here. I'm going ar like around 55, just downshifted. Actually a pretty smooth downshift. It sounds like there's multiple wheel bearings that are on their way out. Ooh, I am coming in hot for this turn in this car. The temperature is actually going down on my uh, my coolant temperature. I think what that typically means is that the thermostat may be stuck open or maybe like a sensor issue or something. But let's, I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature and see if it goes up at all. This is such a weird driving position. I don't like it. Oh, so it's not telescoping, it's just tilt wheel. Visibility is not that great in this car either. Don't get hit. Ooh, there's a downshift. Okay, doesn't feel powerful, but it gets up and goes. You really have to lay into the throttle though. There is an option of manually shifting. Let me try this. <laughs> it's such a delay. It doesn't even hold the gear. I'm not on my phone right now, I promise you. I'm looking at the road. I'm just gonna take a video of the thermostat. I think the temperature is going down. As of a few days ago or so, um, the oil light was on here, the check engine light was on. It was lit up like a Christmas tree, for lack of a better term. I just want my feet to be warm right now. That's cold. Oh, the body lean. I just want to say that this suspension, it, it wasn't like this new, I can guarantee you that. This thing is just lumbering. It, it, it feels like a boat right now. It's not like dangerously insecure, I would say, but uh, absolutely zero steering feedback. I mean, you can't really feel the bumps, I'll give it that. Brakes are squealing a little bit too. Oh, I just flashed the guy in front of me. Sorry, dude. Ooh. Yeah, you really have to pay attention when driving this because this thing just wanders. Oh my God, so much body roll. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they did to this car in order to keep it alive, if you consider this alive, but it does have almost 210,000 miles on it, which is better than a lot of Chrysler products from this era. Give me the juice, give me the juice. I have yet to take this on the highway yet, but we're gonna find out what it's like right now. 495 North. Oh, sorry, dude, I'm not trying to flash you. <laughs> it's just, it's almost fun to drive because it's so unruly. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> Yeah, the transmission's not happy. It's kind of clunking into gear sometimes. Don't flip the car, Matt, don't flip the car. Just, all right, I'm currently flooring it. Okay, that's not that bad. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do an official zero to 60. I just wanna see what this was like at highway speeds. <laughs> Even when you hit the throttle slightly, it just squats back. And when you let off the throttle, it just kind of leans forward. So according to the owner of this car, which is also my girlfriend's father, it burns oil pretty bad. It uh, leaks coolant. The CD player doesn't work. It doesn't blow heat on your feet. It's like impossible to steer. <laughs> it does start right up and it'll get you to work, that's for sure. Avoiding all of the potholes because I don't want to unsettle this chassis, especially at this speed. Oh, my feet are freezing. We're still at a quarter coolant temp right now. Doesn't tell me the, the temperature, but it's only a quarter of the way on the scale. These seats are okay though. See, maybe for a long ride, your butt would get a little sore, but they're not uncomfortable. I'm just gonna drive like this car was intended. 11 and one. <laughs> uh, looks like the TPMS sensors are probably rotted out or busted because we got air pressure light on and they checked the air pressure at the garage the other day, so. Ooh, yeah, around 60, that is, Maybe that's just a differential because when I let off the um, when I let off the throttle, it the noise goes away. I got it. I got it. Yellow. Woo hoo! Bucking Bronco. Oop! Flash that guy too. These brakes do have some bite, so I know that in the thumbnail of the video here, I gave a warning because this is a Chrysler product. Now, I'm not trying to say that Chrysler has never made a good product. Oh, there's a truck coming up behind me. Go, 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 go. Ooh, 60. I'm not trying to say that Chrysler's never made a good product because they have. The old Cherokees are good cars. That straight six, great engine. It will last for hundreds of thousands of miles. But I don't think the engines have ever really been Chrysler's downfall. I think it's been quality of materials used to make the rest of the car and just cutting corners, sometimes cutting them a little too sharp. Hashtag interior. But yeah, anyway, it's just the little things that add up just 
cost a fortune on these cars in maintenance. If I were to guess, all the things wrong with this car that we could fix right now probably total this car in value. The owner of this car is looking to get rid of it, and I am offering any of you watching this video a fantastic opportunity to buy this piece of American history. $13,000, take it or leave it. There's no speed wobbles though. I mean, like, it is a decent highway car. I'm sure this thing sucks down gas, but I, I don't think it gives you a fuel economy reading in here. I'm not super familiar with the all-wheel drive systems and these kind of cars, but it is, to my knowledge, full-time all-wheel drive. You don't have any low range gears or anything. And I certainly wouldn't want to load this thing up with any sort of tongue weight, especially with this suspension. Probably doesn't have the power to actually pull a decent size trailer. Like I, that's, this is foot to the floor right now. Like these are, for this car, these are fairly low profile tires. If you were to even think about putting any sort of tire with sidewall on this car, this would be an absolute handling machine. Sorry, this is kind of a quick review. Um, it's December 22nd right now, so the days are very short and I have to get this done in a quick manner. The thing about this time of year is that I'm still burping up the breakfast that I just ate and the sun is setting. Now that's some fucked up shit. Woo, Bucking Bronco! Maybe some of you can tell me this. Can you do the Jeep Wave in a Grand Cherokee or is that just for Jeep Wranglers? I'm not a Jeep person. Besides, Jeeps are for girls, silly boys. I would love to say that getting this Jeep with the 5.7 Hemi would fix all of its issues, but I think this engine is, it's not this Jeep's biggest problem. It's the rest of the car around the engine. And please, Bob, the owner of this car, don't take any offense to this. This looks like a single mother with a tramp stamp would drive this. U turn or banging a UE as I like to call it. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh. <laughs> like I said, it feels like I could go up on two wheels right now in this exit here. This thing is kind of fun to drive. <laughs> I think it's that raw feeling of imminent danger that makes this thing so fun to drive. Like, I could flip over at any moment. The engine could blow up on me. This thing's got the passing power. <laughs> it doesn't have any passing power. All right, nobody's here. Zero to 60, ready? Three, two, one. catching up to this Toyota Prius in front of us. I did mean to flash him, but I ended up just using my directional. This hoopty be swerving. Oh yeah, another issue. None of the lights in this information center actually light up. Woo! Here's an Audi A7 in front of me with a spoiler that just goes whoop. And I'm driving this. The thing about Massachusetts, especially in kind of like the Metro Boston area is that there's no places to off-road. So I apologize for that. I'm also a little relieved because if I took this thing off-roading, off-roading, I don't think I'd ever be back. But since this is a Jeep, I at least have to take it down a dirt road. Okay, I just got out of the car for a second to go get a new battery and the temperature went up to three quarters. That was just from sitting here running in the driveway. Interesting. Oh, and this is when it starts to burn oil. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost overheating. I'm just gonna shut it off for a little bit. That's not good. We have Sam, what's going on, Sam? I'm cold, so I'm trying to put it towards me, but it's going <laughs> in all different directions. <laughs> so you know how I mentioned before that it starts up right away and it'll get you to work? It does start right up and it'll get you to work. That's for sure. Um, oh my gosh. I think I broke your father's car. No! Okay, well I guess we can't show any off-roading portion. Not yet at least. Stay tuned on my channel. Three, two, one. <laughs> I know I just ended the video, but I... <laughs> Listen to the horn. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Herbie fully loaded. Oh, and uh, 40 minutes later, it still smells like Jeep barbecue out here.